Alright guys, so we are going to be doing a ground fault check on my screwed up MS2. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's just plug the panel in real quick. Alright, there we go. And system is on, press acknowledge. Alright, now I have my digital multimeter here. We're going to set that to continuity. Alright, I have my negative lead from the DMM connected to the Romex connector, all right? And here's why. The Romex connector is grounded to the can, and the can gets grounded to the board because of these four screws right here. You can see there's one, there's two, and then there's two at the top. It holds the MS2 on the can, and it also grounds it at the same time, and there is the green ground wire. So now I'm gonna take my positive lead, okay? And I'm gonna put it on the positive terminal and we will get a ground fault. Now as you can see right here, LED 25, okay, that little symbol below, that represents ground, all right? So if I were to release this, all right, it goes away. And I'm gonna do the same thing for zone two and it will do the exact same thing. It will go into a ground fault. All right. So basically how it works is take your negative wire, connect it to a spot on the panel that's grounded, then you just take your positive lead and you connect it to somewhere or a circuit on the panel that has power. Alright, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.